All right, welcome back everybody to YouTube Live at E3 from the Shrine Expo Center and a post show for the PlayStation Press Conference of 2016. I'm Jeff Keeley, and I'm uh, here from Gorilla Games, my good friend, the managing director of Gorilla, Herman Halls, Herman, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. We've seen the billboards around town. We saw the great trailer you guys put out last week. I thought it was incredible. Thank and you. we got to see new gameplay content uh, today from the game, which we know is coming out early next year. Yes, uh, February 28th in the US. All right, February 28th, that's right. And it looks incredible. This is you know, a big, ambitious project. I remember being with you guys in Amsterdam last year when you were getting ready to unveil it for the first time. Uh, tell us a bit about what, um, what, what's the state of the game's development and what did you want to show at E3 this year? So last year was all about showing that big boss fight and yet our hero and Aloy kind of having that David versus Goliath moment. Yeah. This year it's really about what we have on the show floor. It's about everything else. Yeah. Are we showing off the, because uh, it's, an, it's an open world action RPG. We're showing obviously the open world. We're showing a ton of RPG elements. Uh, we're showing a ton of new enemies uh, yeah. and a lot of new abilities. So it's, it's, it's really well versed what we're showing this year. Well, well tell us about you know, the, the game, as you said. I mean, it really is a vast open world. And that's the thing, as you said, you have you know, big moments, but also smaller moments. And one of the things that I really liked about the trailer uh, last week was a real sense of the story of this game. What is the story of Horizon? How would you describe it? So you, um, you play as Aloy, and it really is a story about trying to understand why she was an outcast and what her origins are. And she's on that path. And while she's unraveling that, and that's kind of your main intention, your main motivation as a player, yeah. you discover the mysteries behind this gorgeous world that's now dominated by robotic life, by our machines. And these, these kind of two tracks are, are on a collision course and that brings in a lot of the tension. Yeah. Uh, now, we obviously know there's a sort of these you know, interesting sort of machines in the world and your interaction with them. Uh, tell us about you know, the character as she upgrades over time for these battles. Uh, we certainly know there's sort of some primitive you know, weapons they can use, but also some more advanced technology. Uh, how much will your character progress throughout the game in terms of its abilities? So it is a, it is a role-playing game, yeah. so the progression system is very, very important. What we're showing at E3 this year uh, you see a, a couple of the perks of the skills she will have picked up. You see, for instance, her um, uh, her concentration mode, where she's able to slow down the gameplay right. uh, for you to play more tactically. Uh, these kind of things you, you get after a certain achievement, uh, sort of probably level 12 or something like that. So you see that and you build up your character as you go. So in that sense, it very much is a role-playing game as well. Yeah. You also see a lot of the, because uh, Aloy's special, she is obviously an agile and clever person, but she also has access to a few bits of technology from the old world that set her apart from the other people. Uh, first and foremost, the focus yeah. behind her ears, so she can scan the machines in order to get a tactical advantage, she can read info, and also she's got a spear so she can hack, she can override machines, so she can either get him to fight alongside of her, but also she can mount him, because it's a seamless open world, and you're gonna have to travel some pretty big distances. Wow, well the world looks absolutely incredible. And tell us, I mean, where are we gonna travel in this world? I mean, I think you, everything you show just looks so beautiful. How vast is the world of Horizon? I mean, you can travel anywhere. You can go from snow-capped mountains to rivers. There's jungle, there's arid deserts. It's a, it is a very large world. Yeah, well, it looks absolutely incredible. And as you see here, her scanning. A yeah. lot of it, to me, based on what I've seen, I haven't really played it. I just played it for a few seconds last year at E3. But it feels like, really, there's a strategy to how you choose, you know, sort of like Bioshock, the big daddies, how you want to engage. Uh, and is that a lot of you're going to have to sort of plot and how you want to sort of take on the uh, some of the creatures? The, uh, the way we've set up the combat, it's very tactical. Yeah. So you, um, you build up your character, and you're going to really prepare for combat. So she's got access to traps, she's got access to uh, to mines, things like that. She can yeah. stealth, it's a big part of the game, so you see her hiding in that beautiful grass. Uh, and she's gonna think clearly before she engages. But after she engages, she's, uh, she's very agile and fast, so she can uh, hold her ground against these overpowering machines. Wow. Well, it looks incredible. So what are, what are you gonna be showing? You show something at the press conference. What will people see at E3? What will they get to check out? Um, at E3, we've got a couple of things. We've got a theater where we show an extended version of what we showed at the press conference. And there's also hands-on, uh, where we really, the tactical combat, we were uh, just taking on the, uh, the Watcher and the, the Grazers, uh, picking up a ride. Uh, people are going to get to experience all of that at E3 this year. 
Wow, well, it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, the team at Gorilla, uh, really amazed me with what you guys are doing with this, and I can't wait to see more of it. So uh, hopefully we'll see more uh, later this year. Awesome, Herman, so. always Thank great you. seeing you. Give Good my best to, to the team back Thank in you. Amsterdam. And we've got